Mm. Well, I was married to a, a pastor and uh, we were going on vacation uh, in Northern Canada and we were traveling along the road and uh, a van struck our little Volkswagen car and sent it spinning down a, an embankment and immediately called into the presence of the Lord, my husband, who was 28 years old. And my little boy, who was three, had the top of his head removed. And my baby, who was 18 months old, died in the hospital. And so as I lay there on the ground, uh, waiting for help, I was saying with my lips, help me. And in my spirit, the Lord said, Evelyn, this is my will, and I'm going to work it all out. I said, how can it be, Lord? How can it be? And yet, in that moment, the spirit of the Lord came and wrapped himself about me, just like uh, the comforter he mm -hmm. is. He's called yeah. the comforter, and he wrapped himself about me. And then help came. They lifted the car off of me, and I got up and was able to walk without a broken bone. I'm a miracle. I had no bones broken, and three of them, plus the little dog who was in the car, were, were dead. So the Lord let me know immediately that he was in charge of my life. He was going to take care of me. I didn't need to have any worries about the future because he was in charge of my future, and he has been. He's never failed me, never mm -hmm. failed me. I, I, remember, mm -hmm. I remember as a young boy, hearing you tell me that and it, it so impacted my life mm -hmm. and there have been days there have been days in my life when i thought i lost everything and i had gone through i went through valleys and stuff and and you the times that story came to my mind and i says well if evelyn can start again i can start again <laughs> And I just, yeah. I don't know, and I, and I know we've, we've taken a serious turn in the last 30 seconds. I'm here to tell you mm -hmm. something watching me just now. You might be in the valley of the shadow of death. You may have lost someone that you think you cannot live without. I've got news for you. Listen what the scripture says. Yea, though I walk through, mm -hmm. through, you're not going to stay there. You're walking through it. Yea, though I walk right. through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And that your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And out of the valley, out of the pain of your circumstance, whatever you're facing today, whatever loss you're going through right this very second, and you may have switched this thing on by mistake, and you're wondering, and, and what happens is when your heart is in a desperate place, you're looking, you're, you're hungry, please God, speak to me from somewhere. Well, stop right where you are. God's talking to you right now. And you're not in the valley. You're not going to stay in the valley. You're not going to build a house in the valley. You're going through the valley. And at the end of this, he's going to prepare a table for you. He's going to provide for you. He's going to strengthen you. And looking back at what was an utter and complete disaster in Evelyn's life, she met a, a fella called Ralph Rutledge <laughs> and who God brought to prominence in a nation, became a nation's pastor. So what was lost in what she thought, well, we'll never be ministering again. We'll never accomplish anything. I, you know, that, that's, that's my best opportunity behind me. no. No, 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 my brother. Listen to me. God's got bigger things for you than you know. And how you respond to your crisis. As she's lying there. As she's lying there. Knowing her family's been decimated. Even the pit. She's saying, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. I trust you, God, in my circumstance. And I feel, if you'll excuse me, guys, let me pray right now, because I feel the Holy Spirit so strongly on this. In the name of Jesus, whatever your need is today, I come against fear and sorrow and, 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 the, and the, the, the desire to give up and the point, well, what's the point? God has got a plan bigger than where you are right now. And if you'll put your hand in His, He will lead you through the valley through the valley of despair, through the valley of unemployment, 
through the valley of, of divorce, through the valley of personal failure. He's, he walks you through these valleys. And, the, and, and, and you may be there right now when you're thinking, this valley will never end. Thus saith the Lord, it will come to an end and the sun will shine again and victory will come into your life and peace will come back into your life and you will smile and you will laugh and you will live again in the name of Jesus. So take Amen. faith that it's not over yet. God's got a plan mm -hmm. for your life. Wow, Evelyn, I loved you the minute I, I met you. you. When I, I, I heard that story, I thought, this is one incredible mm -hmm. woman. And uh, you mm -hmm. married one incredible man called Ralph Rutledge. How did you guys meet? Come on, give us a skinny on how... Well, how well we actually, I was, I was a bachelor. Uh, I was 21 when I started a little church in uh, along the St. Lawrence River a little place called Prescott and yes, uh, there was just a, it was just a little church but I was so happy to be part of that 21 but at 22 I said uh, Lord if you're ready I'm ready uh, you know it's not good having to cook your own meals although I, I had some great help from the widows in the church and <laughs> and I knew how to time my visits you know you get a visit about four o'clock and you know dinner's at five so you time it well so and then they do my laundry but to have somebody in the home it was so important so i said lord if you're ready i'm ready and then it was not long after that i read in the newspaper although somebody told me did you hear about the young pastor that was killed in a car accident and his two children and and i had met them at, at different uh, events, mm -hmm. but that really didn't know them personally, although we had mutual friends that were quite close. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when I prayed that prayer, uh, it registered in heaven, but then somebody gave me the newspaper and on the front page of the Toronto Star had a picture of Evelyn, picture of the husband, at the father and the two children together. And in bold letters, it said, she walked away, but her family perished. And as I was praying for her, clearly as if it was your voice, said to me, she shall be your wife. And I wasn't even thinking that way at all. Here is a, a now a young widow, and, uh, and I'm a single young man. It wasn't even in my thinking that this would ever be the arrangement. So I was so overwhelmed by what was whispered into my spirit that I had to get out of the house. I walked around the blocks uh, trying to... Uh, take this in what was being said to me and uh, and I said okay Lord now you have to bring it about how are you going to arrange this mm -hmm. and we don't have the time but it's really amazing how everything knitted together and how the Lord had spoken to Evelyn as well at a very dark time when she felt we we're at a conference of the uh, general council of the assemblies and and uh, she was sitting there it was a missionary night and uh, and the Spirit of the Lord began to speak to her. You should tell what happened at that moment. Well, I felt like I was in darkness first time because most of the time I had felt buoyed up by the prayers of God's people. It really works. People pray when you see somebody have, has a need. Pray for yes. them. Anyway, I was sitting in this darkness and in the middle of, of this feeling of darkness, sitting in the church service crying, I said, I was glad I was in a Pentecostal church because I could cry freely if I wanted to. <laughs> anyway, uh, the spirit of the Lord said to me, you shall marry Ralph Rutledge. Oh, she must have got excited. And, and I said, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, and, and, <laughs> and I often shared, I often shared the verse that, that he gave me sometimes, he said... Before then. Yeah, he had given me a verse, and he said, Evelyn, no good thing will I withhold from them that walk oh, uprightly. Gosh, so and I said, Lord, okay, I'll do my part. I'll walk uprightly, and you won't hold any good thing. And this is my no good thing that he didn't withhold from me. <laughs> you better not be laughing, Philip. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. I'm, I'm sitting here just... <laughs> Anyway, the, the Lord the Lord worked it out. We, we knew it was His will, and from then on, things worked out for us. Then blessed us with three children: a daughter, Absolutely, Ruth, yes. and son, David. And, and uh, we would appreciate your prayers for him as he's yes. 
been battling uh, again. With, I yeah. want you, I, I have been, I, I, there isn't a day that has goes past that I don't think of him and pray for him. Thank you. Wow. And he, yeah. he is we'll back with cancer again. And he, he's yeah. going yeah. through one thing, and this is the second attack on his body. And yeah, he himself... Third time. Third, third, yeah, third time. yeah. And, he is, he, yeah. and he's a gifted man, a gifted preacher. Yes. Very and, gifted. Um, yeah. So a please... Then we have Jonathan, that. the youngest one. He's in California. Yes, that is correct. You know Jonathan, yeah. yeah. And what's crazy is, I remember your kids when they were little kids. And now, you yeah. know, I look at them and I think... Am I this old? Uh, I, you know, I, am I am I that old that, that, that there's David and Jonathan? It's crazy. They're grandparents. <laughs> David's oh a grandfather. Lord. Well, I, I'm the grandfather of six right now, so I I I'm into grandfathering in the biggest. My kids come home. Oh, I can grand, see that. My my grandkids yeah. come home from school at three o'clock, and suddenly the ministry can I. For me, that's all. Thank you very much. I'm off to the. I'm I'm off home to play with my grandkids, and uh, they are a delight. You moved. You yeah, moved enjoy to Halifax. When you, can. you moved to Halifax, California, uh, 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 Halifax, Nova Scotia, and began a tremendous mm -hmm. work there, and then moved to Toronto and had an outpouring of the Holy Ghost, and and a lot mm -hmm. of pastors watching just now, Ralph, have have never yeah. experienced. The divine presence of God. We, we we know about it. We talk about it. We preach about it. Tell us how it feels yeah. when the, the windows of heaven open and the power and the manifestation of the Holy Ghost takes place. 